And now it's time for our second round of Guess What? Our new quiz show. And to begin with, let's say hello to our special quiz master of today, Sergi Cervera. Hello, Sergi. Hi, Marcella. Yeah. And, <laughs> and of course, to our special contestants, Patricia Scalona and Thank Mario you. Serra. Hello. Hi. Hi. And uh, Sergi, like I said before, you're the quiz master, so no, over I'm to you. I'm afraid so. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, everybody, to Guess What? After we tested your imagination last week, today we will talk about literature, which is your field. And since we talk about sins today, we dedicate the quiz to crime literature, writers, alive or dead, with real or fictional characters. You guys ready? Yeah. I'm afraid so. <laughs> All right. Never so, better said. Yeah. <laughs> then let's start. Pay attention because today you will have to go through different question challenges. As always, you will discover them as you play. So you're ready? Ready like ready? All right, then we go. Okay, so your first challenge will be to guess the name of a crime writer in English language. Marcella will give you clues one by one and you will have to ring your bells uh, to answer. So if you are right, well done, point for you. And if you are wrong, what then? Then <laughs> you will give the other contestant the chance to answer. <laughs> okay. That's okay. What's great. better than you? Yeah, so you can't ring my bell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's yours. Okay. All right. So any questions? Oh, I think it's quite clear. Mm -hmm. yep. Good. All right. So let's well, start. Let's uh, try the bells. Will they work? Excellent. Oh, sound different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right? A little All bit. All right, yeah. so, ready? Mine is brighter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. First one. We are talking of a well known writer, okay, whose works have been translated into many languages. And this author is dead. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Once this writer disappeared for. 10 days with more than one Agatha Christie. Well done. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you well done, Patricia. Patricia. Yeah. I know my crime literature, man. <laughs> okay. You have to try harder. Do you remember, do you know what happened when she disappeared, when um, she went missing? I think she went away to Bath or some other coastal town in England. And I think she was fed up with everything in her life. And for a while she wanted to think and be on her own. But nobody knows exactly why what happened. or what happened. And they say she suffered of amnesia as well. So it was a mystery uh, well, you period say of life. Someone disappeared. I thought about Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> but he disappeared uh, until Moriarty gets it back. So. <laughs> and we're well, talking about right. writers. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but fiction and non-fiction are yeah, that's like true. the same. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. All right, so Agatha Christie, the first one, yes. Um, oh. And then we are going to the writer. second one. Let's All go. Right. Second clue, second mm -hmm. question. Well, we have another author, a very famous, but not American. Not American. This author sang or used to sing in a punk band called The Dancing Pigs. This writer lives in Scotland. This writer is a oh. man. Ian Rankin? Well Boom. done! <laughs> well done again! Two points for Patricia. And just to remind you, Marius, none for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. I didn't know it. Ian Rankin was, was a Scottish. singer as well. We still well, have time. I didn't know that he was a Used singer, to be. but, he's no, but he was Scottish. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite crime writer? There is say. no points for this one. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> Patricia Highsmith, for instance. She's not exactly a crime writer, or not just a crime writer, mm -hmm. but Stranger on the Train. It's great. It's a great beautiful, novel. yeah. yeah. Um, I, like, I like Harlan Coben a lot. He's an American writer, and he's not very famous in Catalonia or Spain, but um, he's really good. He's really, he writes in, with a lot of sense of humor, and I love that. So you can I say mine? Uh, yeah, which yeah. one is yours? Well, it's Mario Serra. Oh. I really enjoyed the novella de San Jordi. <laughs> oh, novella San Jordi. I thought it yeah. was a brilliant novel. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Lo lots of uh, murdering uh, authors <laughs> there. Yeah. 
en, yes. en la Rambla. Yeah, I enjoyed that's it, that's it. everything it very much. Thank you very much. Don't you get any ideas? You cannot kill me. No, Because no, I'm no, just no. winning this game. I'm right? being okay. killed. Well, right the game's now. not oh, over, right. Patricia. So exactly. let's continue. And we, still, we still have a lot of points to give you guys. So we have finished now our first round. And Patricia is on the lead with two points. It's the third time that I remind you that. But I think it's interesting. I think you're, 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 coming, you're enjoying this. Fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. So do you have a good memory? No. Because no. Marcella <laughs> is going to read the first paragraph of a famous crime book. And you can ring your bells to answer from the very first moment. But you know, if you miss, you will give the other contestant the right to answer the question. Okay, I'll begin with the first one. In the year 1878, I took my degree of Doctor of Medicine at the University of London and proceeded to Netley to go through the course prescribed for surgeons in the army. Having completed my studies there, I was duly attached to the 5th Northumberland Fusiliers as assistant surgeon. That's, that's the first novel by um, Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes, but I can't remember the name of the novel. Which means... Studying Scarlet? Oh. That's correct! Yes. That's correct! <laughs> That's correct. That, you were close. Exactly. You were close. Exactly. 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 Truman Capote's, <laughs> correct, correct. So this is, as well you done. said, Truman Capote's description of the village of the farming community in Holocom, where a, famil where a family was viciously murdered in 1959. And of course, we're talking about his non-fiction book in Cold Blood. I gave you like three seconds there to- Yeah, you yeah, actually, yeah. I was like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Come on, man. All right. <laughs> We still, we're, we still have much to play. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm supporting I'm, you, Marius. I'm, thank I'm you very much. You. Thank you very much. So and, just and to remind you. Do you guys prefer fiction or non-fiction? I prefer fiction usually, but uh, it doesn't matter. I prefer books, well-written books, but uh, normally more of fiction than non-fiction. Yeah. What is it? It depends. It on depends the, on the Yeah, moment. on the period of my life that I'm living <laughs> and, and, and the references I need. Just to remind our okay. audience, she's mm -hmm. uh, leading with four points. Okay. And Marius is having Mule. a lot to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, well, because... I've got future. I'm just try I'm trying yeah. to be positive. Exactly. All right, so time for the last test. Very straightforward. No ringing bells here. No instructions. Oh, okay. It's a multiple choice question that we call the multiple choice question. Very the multiple name. Choice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you guess how it works? Well, we have to choose between many Between answers. multiple One point. No, that's, that's <laughs> it. I was kidding. <laughs> but that's correct. Correct, exactly. Okay. So, what sentence or phrase never appears in a Sherlock Holmes book? A. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how impossible, must be the truth. B. The most difficult crime to track is the one which is purposeless. And C, elementary, my dear Watson. I would say B. B. Um, Do you so want would to I, to? actually, but huh? so would I. So I would say B as well. Yeah. But so again, right. we're saying which sentence or phrase never appears in Sherlock Holmes yeah. books. It, it sounds like a tricky question because yeah, between of this a and B, C. No? Because of this elementary that everybody uh, says that it's always a maybe, it's not there. Is that your final point? Well, let, let's all try. Right, let's all right, go. B C. for you, C, C for, for you, me. yeah. which means one point for Marius. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. But 
That's correct. Do you mean really that he's... Is that yeah, never absolutely. Elementary? Holmes never says elementary, my dear Watson, in the books. It was a phrase quoted by the contemporary press in parodies and then included in the film. So you were right. Uh, cinema. Right. Good. So okay, four thanks. for Patricia and one for Marius. Oh, we're going to the second question. Who is widely considered the first fiction detective? A. See August Dauphin by Edgar Allan Poe. B. Inspector Bucket by Charles Dickens. Or C. Mr. Magnifying Glass by Anonymous. A. August Dauphin. Um, Poe's? You said Poe's, no? Yeah. No, B. All right, me Dickens. meaning two points for Marius. Good for you. Four, four for you. Inspector well Bucket appears in Charles Dickens Bleak House, published in 1952, and is one of the first, what well, one of the first. But by then, Edgar Allan Poe had published The Murders in Rue Moore in 1941 and two other stories with C. August Dauphin. So he is a detective who lives in Paris with a friend who narrates their story, which means. You were right. Mm -hmm. So what's the score? <laughs> Raise a start. Uh, you can uh, that means, bell. Exactly. Two for Marius, four for Patricia. Yeah, because which means that, that was uh, the ring's fault. Because I'm not... Uh, Marius, it really Marius is you are this close to lose one of your two points. <laughs> oh anyway, <laughs> that sounded just an excuse. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> but that means that we have a winner. And the winner is... Patricia. What? Well, for today, yes, congratulations, <laughs> Patricia. Thank you. Okay, so much for the Guess What Up today, dedicated to crime books. We finish the quiz again with the weekly Enigma by Marius Serra. Okay. Mm? You have to guess a word from a crossword-like clue, and you're given a number of letters. And before Marius' next uh, Enigma, we need the solution to this week's puzzle. So what was the clue, Marius? The clue was which was or which is your most brilliant relative. Three letter words. What, what do you think? You've got some relatives. What's the most well, brilliant relative? You've had one week to crack the enigma. But I, I, I know the answer. I cannot <laughs> say. Give it to us. Yeah? Yeah. Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's what well, you wanted me to well do. Well done. Yeah, this, this is why, uh, like an homophony, because you, you've got your son, like a father, mother, that, that all of them are relatives, but it sounds like the son with you. You ride with O, your relative, you ride with you, the most. A brilliant star. So and it eventually, was your son is your son. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Because it's brilliant. Okay. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> okay. All right. That was easy if you think about it. And now we have a new one yeah. for next week. Which Related is to the sun as well. But we've got uh, a horseman here. All right. This horseman always avoids the sun. And you've got six letters. This horseman always horseman. avoids the sun. Always six avoids. letters. This horseman always avoids the sun, mind you. The sun with a U. And it's six letters this time. Mari, thanks so much okay, for participating. And Patricia, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Sergi, you've been a great quiz master. See you Thank next you. time. Thank, Thank you so much. And it's time for a short break. We'll be right back with Eric Vargez, the singer and guitar player of the Catalan band, Els Catarras. And don't miss Mark Broderick's visit to Tarragona on his quest for sins and international sinners. We'll talk over it with uh, Mark and Matthew Tree. Stay tuned.